Welcome to the Health Made Easy podcast. Health advice so easy, you'll feel more confident about your body, health, and life. And now, your host, Dr. Connie Jean. So it's Q&A Friday. I've got some great questions this week, so I'm super excited to answer them for you. Uh, first question comes from Pamela, and she asks, Connie, are you familiar with the probiotics by Align? It is what my doctor recommended. Curious if you know, feel it is if it is sufficient. Thank you for your time. Hi, Pamela. There are three specific beneficial strains of probiotics that we look for. It's one is Bifidobacterium, Lactobacillus and Saccharomyces boulardii. Alliance has specifically Bifidobacterium. It has 1 billion colony forming units only. It's highly recommended by GI doctors, I know. But for someone with gut issues, I typically recommend the one that contains all beneficial strains and contains 20 billion colony forming units of Lactobacillus bifidobacterium and Lactobacillus planetarium, as well as 2 billion colony forming units of Saccharomyces boulardii. There's many different strains for each category of these probiotics or beneficial probiotics. So, I recommend that you get something a little bit more with the bang and if you need direction with that please do comment below and I'd be happy to send you some recommendations. Second question comes from, I have to scroll, comes from Gloria Dowling. I recently became aware that I have an autoimmune disease, very likely lupus due to speckled ANA results. Additionally, and more disturbing was that I have cirrhosis of the liver, which is enlarged, than an enlarged spleen. I've never been a large consumer of alcohol or medicine. Additionally, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. And my doctors and I have agreed that addressing the liver is the focus at this point. In the meantime, I have been focusing on a wellness plan, which includes acupuncture, chiropractor to deal with the inflammation and pain management. This has helped immensely. I'm working on my diet now, which is extremely difficult and confusing. I decided to start with your lupus gut healing diet, which is helping. My question are given the liver, can I drink coffee? As this is recommended. Secondly, are, um, are limes interchangeable with lemon for the detox water? Thank you so much. So Gloria, I'm so glad that our gut healing diet is helping. I know it's helping a lot of people. I'm so glad you're trying that out. Yes, you can drink coffee. There's a new research to state that drinking coffee can actually decrease your risk of death by cirrhosis by up to 66%. As for the lime and lemon debate, yes, they're essentially the same in nutrient value despite the color and taste difference. I personally like the flavor of lemon better, but it's totally up to you which you want to take. The third question comes from, uh, let me see here, <laughs> I have to scroll down. Uh, she, it's Regina Legend. Uh, Legendre, I hope I said that right. She asks, it's the similar question about um, LDN. In naltrexone or is nal naltrexone good to take for lupus? What are the side effects? So it's not just the naltrexone, but it's low dose naltrexone. And it's looking very favorable for those of us with lupus and I'm loving myself on it. I'm currently on three milligram I can't talk today. I'm currently on three milligrams daily and it's helped me to be more mentally sharp and I feel like it's helping me with my inflammation as well. And at low dose, LDN works to decrease the overall inflammation. It specifically works to improve the endorphin level, levels in autoimmune conditions because we know that immune system disorders like lupus can occur with low levels of endorphins and low-dose naltrexone, naltrexone is between 1.0 to 4.5 milligrams versus 50 to 100 milligrams used typically for opiate and alcohol dependence. So in essence, it decreases the autoimmunity by regulating our T-cells, B-cells, and natural killer cells. And it can also reduce neuroinflammatory pain, which is in the brain. 
The side effects of LDN are minimal. It can make you have nightmares and causes dizziness and drowsiness in some individuals. If you have cirrhosis or elevated liver enzymes, you should consult your doctor about it. But because it's such a low dose, the side effects are very uncommon. I hope that that helps you. Many of you watching this, please ask your doctor about it. Not many conventional doctors are open to it, but I find that it's the research is very promising. And in the next coming weeks, I plan to share a lot more about it. So um, let's see. Next question comes from, let me see, uh, Gisela Delgado. She emailed me this question. So I hope you're watching this, Gisela. So she says, I'm a recent diagnosed loopy. It's been a learning process. I get lost, confused, and frustrated. I'm still learning my triggers, how to alkaline, how to be kind to myself, etc. It's not easy. But now I've learned that PMS is one of my biggest battles, brings a lot of my symptoms back. So it seems I'll be having a flare every month. So not fair. What can I do to prevent this? Well, there's a direct correlation of lupus and hormones for sure. The key is to decrease the inflammation. And because so much of hormones are metabolized through our liver, it's not a bad idea to eat a clean alkaline diet. I would follow the gut healing guide can be purchased on lupus pharmacy with an f.com link below or the elimination diet plan or elimination diet under files in this group. I would also take a good quality fish oil and probiotics to help your body find a happy balance as not to cause as much disruption when you do have your menstrual cycle. Again, it's not an isolated hormone issue. It's a collective whole systems issue that warrants you to take a holistic stance and get the gut functioning right so that your hormones, your immune system, and your liver and kidneys can be optimized. So we want to treat the body on a whole level. So I hope all these questions helps you to sort of connect the dots to say, we want to work on us. We want to optimize our body functions. We want to be able to detoxify. We want to have a healthy immune system so that our immune system can start to fight for us the way it's supposed to be, not attacking our own cells. With that, I hope all of you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening to the Health Made Easy podcast, www.drconnyjean.com.